Hello, Luke here with CatsAndCarp.com, and I'm going to show you how to safely unhook a catfish. All right, so let me show you how to get a circle hook out of a fish's mouth. To do is you go down as close to the barb as you can reach, and then get the barb down to where it's snagging, and then jiggle it out. Okay, it's kind of you're twisting it out, then jiggling. So let me show you how to hold a catfish. Now, catfish have three spines. One right here, one right here, and one right here, okay? He's tagging me. And they have this kind of like a shoulder blade right here. It's hard, and so you grab them behind this, these fins, and you can lock in a really good grip on them and control the fish. Hold his tail, hold him like this by the shoulder blades, keep him from flopping around, and you'll be good. If you do get stung by a catfish, don't worry about rubbing slime in it or peeing in it or all these wives' tails. Just clean it out really good with some antiseptic and you'll be fine. All right, you wanna put it, you wanna throw them back? Okay. For larger catfish, you can hold them by gripping their lower jaw, and this works fine for catfish up to about 15-20 pounds. But with larger catfish, you want to control them by holding their lower jaw, but support their body weight with your other hand. Just be careful putting your finger in a catfish's mouth because they can chomp down pretty hard. Son of a gun! If a catfish swallows a hook, it'll have about a 50% chance of surviving. If you can safely remove the hook from the fish's stomach, its odds of survival go up. So let me show you how to get a hook out of a catfish's stomach. Oh, yeah, he swallowed it. Okay, check that out. See how that hook is way down in there? He's gut hooked. I'm going to get that out without hurting him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach down his throat and grab the hook like this. And I'm going to twist it with one hand and work, work the stomach off the point gently. We're not gonna pull it. We're gonna twist and push the meat off the hook. And I'm wearing gloves because they chew your hands up terribly when they do this. Catfish have two sets of teeth. They have the teeth on their lips and then they have a set of teeth in their throat. Right now, he is trying to chew me up with the set of teeth in his throat. Those are, they're crushers. Ta-da! Look at that, no bleeding. Dude, we didn't pull it out. And if you ever want to know if you've hurt the fish, if you've torn its guts, if you, you had to be rough with it, smell its throat. Right now, this smells just like fish. I mean, nothing, nor, nothing out of the ordinary, it smells normal. If you'd torn up the stomach, it would smell like rotten fish and death in there. It just smells like, like roadkill, okay? If you tear the stomach, it'll stink. All right. Whoosh. Okay, guys, let me show you what we got here. We got him, see, he's got hooked. This is his stomach right there. See right there how his stomach's come out? They do this a fair amount. If you gut hook them, their stomach turns inside out. To me, it seems like that's how they vomit because I've seen them push it out and in. We're gently trying to work the barb off the stomach. And then what you do is if you just kind of tuck the stomach back into its throat, he'll, he'll put it back in. So you can see right there, he's doing it. See how it's slowly working itself back in and he kind of swallows and boop, his stomach's back in where it should be. If you really tear up their stomach, it'll stink to high heaven. Okay. There we go. Nice fish. If you're fishing for catfish in 30 feet of water or deeper, the catfish's stomachs can expand full of gas when you pull them up quickly off the bottom. This will cause the catfish to float upside down and be unable to swim back to the bottom. I'm a little worried about this one. I think he's got gas in his belly. I think this one got gas. He pulled up from 30 feet. Reeling a catfish slowly off the bottom will help prevent this, but if your catfish is bloated, what you can do is massage their belly a little bit. You can also stick them in a mesh bag over the side of the boat and let them try to normalize a little bit. There we go. Same deal with this one. 
If you've exhausted the catfish by fighting it, swishing it gently back and forth through the water can get more water across its gills and more oxygen in its blood and help it pep up. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two about safely unhooking and returning catfish. If you'd like to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe and to click that notification button to get emails. We put out new videos every week.